Welcome back, everybody, to the 1987 Supermod. I'm your host, as always, Brad Drake, and this is my AWA save. Tonight, the AWA is back on tour, and we have rolled into Omaha, Nebraska for our next tour date. Let's go ahead and set our venue. It may be set here already. I just know there's a couple civic auditoriums in here. I want to make sure that we get the right one. So we're looking upwards of 14,000 fans for tonight's show, which is pretty cool. It's a nice little, nice little turnout. And let's take a look here. Let's bring this up to 12 or 10 for the heck of it. And let's see what we get. There it is. Yeah, the Omaha Civic Auditorium, which I believe is what's already scheduled. It is. So we'll just verify that, and we are good. And looky, 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 we do not have any backstage incidents. We do not have any absent workers. I can't believe this. Let's go ahead and give our card our rundown. In the opener, Reggie Bennett is going to face Medusa Michelli. Dukes and Jammer will battle the Texas Hangman. Nelson Royal is challenging Steve Regal for the World Light Heavyweight title. DJ Peterson is going to face Greg Wojciechowski. Colonel De Beers is going to face Ron Simmons in their Red Hot feud. Dick Slater is going to wrestle Scott Hall. The Russians will face the Fabulous Ones in the semi-main. And in our main event, Sergeant Slaughter is going to challenge Kurt Hennig for the heavyweight championship of the world. It's a big card, everybody. It's a big night in the AWA. Let's get to Booking. All right, Bennett versus Michelli in the opener. And once again, this is fit in shape, Reggie Bennett. She is a very muscular woman. Much more muscular than most women, if not all women wrestlers, back in 1988. And uh, Medusa Michelli, as we know, is the real deal when it comes to women's wrestling. So these are good matches. And Medusa Michelli is up for the win here. And she will get the win over Big Reggie Bennett. Next, we have Dukes and Jammer against the Texas Hangman. Both teams are gaining some popularity here. And doing better than when they first started. Imagine that. All right, there's uh, Derek Dukes and Tommy Jammer. And there is the Texas Hangman. And of course, the Hangman are managed by that dastardly Don Carson. All right, looks like Dukes and Jammer got the win the last time, so the Hangman are due for the win here. We'll have Killer get the pinfall for his team. And next... We have Royal versus Regal. That's a serious, serious headline, isn't it? Royal versus Regal. <laughs> For the World Light Heavyweight title. Imagine if they tagged. You could call them Royal and Regal, or Royal Regal, or Regal Royal. Pretty interesting combinations there. All right, there is Nelson Royal. With his red hot momentum. And somehow he's annoyed. And there is Steve Regal. With his hot momentum. Let's take a look. I think Regal is due for the victory here. And he is. Yeah we. Pretty much made this so it was heel face. Heel face the whole way. But sometimes things get messed up. So it's best just to double check. And, of course, Steve Regal gets the win. And next next we have Peterson versus Wojciechowski. And this one, I believe, goes up to 14. It does. So we're going to make this 12, and we're going to give Royal and Regal the 14. There is DJ Peterson. And there's Wojciechowski. And Peterson should be due for the win here. Nope. Wojciechowski is due for the win. Remember, heel face, heel face. I should have known better. 
And of course, Wojciechowski is going to get assistance winning this match by his manager, Don Carson. All right, so we bump up Royal and Regal here to 14 minutes. Next, De Beers and Simmons. And De Beers is going to lose because he's going to continue to lose to Ron Simmons until he leaves the promotion. I am not happy at all that Colonel De Beers is leaving the promotion. But there is really nothing I can do about it. Well, there is. I could cheat, but... And I know I do a lot of cheating. <laughs> or, or to make things realistic. But in this case, you know, what, what are you going to do? So... Might as well just let the man go, even though he's going to a company that's one and a half million dollars in debt. Next, Dick Slater versus Scott Hall. This one goes 16. And we just saw, saw a couple of really good matches between Dick Slater's tag team partner, Bobby Duncombe, and Scott Hall. And of course, the Dick Slater-Scott Hall matches have not let us down in the least. I forget who's due for the victory. It is Dick Slater. And of course, Dick Slater, ah, we'll have him go over clean. It's not going to hurt anything. Next, the Russians and the Fabs. I do believe the Fabs are due for this win. But we'll double check when we get to it. There's the Russians. There's the Fabs. And of course, we have the fabulous ones under exclusive written contracts right now, which makes me feel really good because I am very concerned about losing the Midnight Rockers here in two months. And let's take a look here. The Russians won the last time against the Fabs. Nope. Yeah. So the Fabs get the win here again. We'll have Stan Lane win. And next we have our big main event, and it is a big main event. Going 30 minutes here as we have Slaughter versus Hennig. For the world heavyweight title. These two have put on some great matches already. And I'm sure that this one will be no different. Alright, Slaughter won the last time by DQ. So Kurt Hennig is going over this time. And of course, he's going to do it by cheating. And he's going to piss off the Omaha fans. Who are then going to watch our television shows and wait until we come back to town to perhaps see a rematch between these two. Which in our case, with the way the game's set up and everything, doesn't happen. But there will be a payoff at a big show that they should look forward to. They could always travel to that big show. All right, here we go. We are booked up the typical 142 minutes. Greg Ganya has got too much to do. I'm sorry, Grego. Let's get you straightened out here. And that's two matches where I don't see Grego doing anything. There he is. I will right, we'll give some more work to Gene Konechki there. All right, we are all set here. We're ready to go. 142 minutes, our usual time. That's two hours and 22 minutes for the show. Nice length of a show. Let's go ahead and get started here. All right, red text to doom between the two ladies here in Omaha. I'm not surprised. we got a sellout here in Omaha. And, of course, Medusa wins with that German suplex. Texas Hangman win with the Hangman drop. And let's see if their experience, inexperience is starting to die down yet. And it is for the Hangman, which is good to see. But Dukes and Jammer are still inexperienced, and that's okay. Next, Royal and Regal get us a 70. Nice score for a World Light Heavyweight title match. Rolling right along, 78 for Wojciechowski over DJ Peterson. 
DJ Peterson is really coming along here. 64 for his score. Very nice. I'm excited. And De Beers and Simmons get us a nice 81. This one is a red hot, excellent feud. And uh, I'm happy to see it. Oh, boy. What a match. Here you go. Slater and Hall score us a 90. What a match. Wow. Next, the Fabs over the Russians. We get an 81 overall. 86, 86, 80, 69. We get an 81 overall. Slightly disappointing, but I'll take it. 90, 81. Bonus city. The only takeaway here is inexperience. But a 90, 81, and I'm going to go with an 89 for the main. What do you think? 89? You think we're going to push into the 90s? I don't know. Let's see. Three, two, one. 97! 97! That's our highest score ever for a match. That has got to be our highest score ever for a match. We've been doing, this is our 155th show, which is actually a lot more than that, considering the television tapings are two-part episodes. Uh, I can't think of us getting a higher match score. This has got to be it. Excellent, excellent match. Here we are, bonus city. And things are looking up for the AWA, everybody. Now, in the grand scheme of things, we're not the WWF. We're not Jim Crockett Promotions. We're not making millions of dollars a week just off of TV deals. But what we have done is taken the AWA out of the cellar and back onto the main floor of the house. We're sitting at the kitchen table and we're eating pretty well. So there we go. It's the best way I can put it in an analogy. Let's go ahead and finish this one up. We get an increase for the region. Terrific. And we got to point some people out here. We're going to point out Kurt Hennig. We are going to point out Sergeant Slaughter. And we are also going to point out Dick Slater. Kurt Hennig, great performance. Sergeant Slaughter, great performance. Dick Slater, great performance. Well done, gentlemen. Hennig's pleased. Slaughter is pleased. And Slater is pleased. Slaughter, Slater, Slaughter, Slater, Slaughter, Slater. See, I did it three times in a row. <laughs> All right, moving, moving right along. Tomorrow will be the next tour date, and we're heading to one of my favorite towns here. We're heading to Denver. I like Denver, especially in this game. And I always thought it was cool that that was an AWA town. And of course, Denver will have Zabisco and Lawler on top. There's a new champion in Windy City. Molly Hosaka, our girl, has just won the vacant ladies title. All right, let's take a look here. All-Star Wrestling got 943,000 viewers. Pretty good. Wojciechowski likes Medusa. So do we, Wojo. Thanks. Kern is tired, and he shouldn't be for too much longer. He's only going to be wrestling for us. What is this? Windy City has expansion in mind? Wow. All right, Eddie Guerrero wants more money. He wants to make $640 a show. We'll say yes. But we'll see, Eddie. We'll see. You're only 20 years old. All right, let's, quick let's take a quick look around the game world here. And I think I've explained this to you before. To keep things realistic, it'd be really cool if TEW had the option that when you ran a television show to assign that television show to a certain building for AI, hopefully when they come out with another version of this game, they will do just that. It would be really nice, but uh, they don't. So uh, what I do is I make sure the nights of television tapings that I also book a one-hour show in the arena that that television is taped from, and that ensures that they run out of the proper arena. So big main event here. For world class, spoiler and Al Madrill versus Sean and Steve Simpson. Cool. Kevin Von Eric versus Jason Sterling. Jason Sterling was the son of somebody. Yeah, the missing link. That's it. Do we 
Dewey Robertson was his name. How old is Kerry here? 27? 28. Very nice. One hell of a wrestler. Even after he lost half his foot, the guy could still go. This is a pretty decent little card here. Who's the Cyber Squad? Phil Apollo and Mark Callis are the Cyber Squad. Man, they got some stupid names. <laughs> they got some really stupid names. All right, let's see what else is going on here. Windy City had their TV tapings. Summers over Condry in the main event. How is that possible? Thought we had these guys on exclusive deals. Yeah. Oh, probably hasn't finished up the 30 days yet. That's probably the deal. Zebra Kid has won the Windy City Heavyweight title over Bam Bam Bigelow. That's pretty cool. For those of you that don't know who the Zebra Kid was, uh, I can't remember his real name. Kevin and something. Um, he was around a long time, and he was a really good wrestler. And at the end of his career, like the last 20 years or so, he pretty much stayed with the Chicago Independence, and he did a lot of training, and he worked with a lot of young wrestlers. Kevin Clark was his real name. And uh, just a very classy guy and really helped a lot of people. And he was around for, like I said, a really long time and had a lot of experience. And a lot of people speak very highly of him. And he spent a good deal of time in Windy City helping everybody out. And he was also involved with PWI and a couple other local promotions. And he was just a good guy. And so good for him in this game that he's won the Windy City heavyweight title. Even though he was a tiny little guy that was only a lightweight. <laughs> so, all right. Well, thanks everybody for tuning into this episode. We'll see you tomorrow in Denver. And if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button, give us a like, and share this video. Also, go to facebook.com slash groups slash 1987 Supermod and join us in conversation about 8.0 and everything TEW and everything wrestling. Last but not least, if you would like version 8.0, remember, I'm only playing 6.0. But if you would like version 8.0, go to braddrake.net, drop me a line, and I'll be more than happy to send you a link that'll take you right to the database and the picture pack. Thanks, everybody. So long for now. <laughs>